Burkitt's is a regional law firm based in East Anglia. Uh, they've been there their in, entire history. We now have four offices, Norwich, Cambridge, Chelmsford and uh, our home office in uh, Ipswich. 400 staff, uh, top 100 law firm this year. And uh, typical areas of law, corporate, commercial, property, and very strong in agriculture and international shipping law. Email is nowadays the primary tool that lawyers use. So making email 100% available 100% of the time was one of those um, key factors. I was brought on board in January 2010 and at that point Burkitt's was using an outsourced IT company and uh, the whole infrastructure was somewhat dated and required upgrading. One of the big issues that we had was with email. Email was all local, all based on a single exchange server on 2003. There was no archiving as such, everybody's doing local PST files, and the whole system was grinding to a, a halt. The solution as proposed by the external company at the time was just putting a bigger server with more disks on it, which was at a price tag that was just ludicrous. Um, so our first stage was to deal with that, which Mimecast was the obvious choice. I'd worked with the people in Mimecast before, so I knew what I was getting, and we, we knew it was going to work. It was a, a very much a no-brainer. The next logical step was to get into the Exchange 2010, Outlook 2010 environment. The um, preparation for that, from our point of view, was getting the historic data up to date in the Mimecast depository. Users don't like change, but if you give them a change where they see a benefit, they'll grab it. The migration, um, we didn't really have any concerns about loss of data or downtime because we'd already got all of the historic mail in place and all active mail was going through Mimecast already. So we knew there was no risk of data loss. The fear users had is, will I lose my email? Um, with the, the Mimecast in place and having been in place for over a year before we did the migration, that was a non-issue. Users could use the portal. There was zero risk of email disruption. The other big plus from, from Burkitt's point of view was with the Outlook 2010 Mimecast plugin, giving the users the same folder view that they were used to in their old 2003 environment. And thus, training was a, a non-issue. They were seeing what they saw before, just under a different icon. Now that we're at the, pretty much at the end of the, the migration process from 2003 to 2010, one of the other benefits from us as an IT perspective is that the two 2003 servers have got about 1.6 terabyte of store attached to them. And the new 2010 Exchange server, we're down to a few hundred meg having done the migration. So the, the storage that we've saved is, is tremendous. But it also means that the user's performance that they get on indexing and searching local emails is also far faster because the Exchange server hasn't got to troll through all this historic mail unnecessarily. If we'd considered you know, how, how we have migrated from a 2003 environment to 2010 without Minecast, we would have had to have brought in some of our archiving solution. The risk to the users would have been far higher than I would have wanted to go anywhere near. The users' response times to their email that they really need, their, their stuff that's six months, nine months old, is it, 10 times what it was before. And the users see that benefit and they can still get to all their archive email and it's just behind another folder where they were used to using the, the old Outlook 2003 folder structure. They can now click into the, the Mimecast plugin and, and the folder structure is the same. One of the successes in IT is if IT is not known about, it's because it's all working. Mimecast falls into that. 